Post eggs on the White House. We have to try it. You may have noticed I didn't add all the water in. I still have a little water left. I'd rather it be too thick than too thin. I think this is perfect. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Post eggs on the White House. Mmm. Mmm. It needs more. More. Mmm. It's good. It's not hollandaise. Let's just take a taste of this. Essentially, we just made a white sauce with some cheese in it. I didn't put as much salt as they asked for. They asked for half a teaspoon. I put in a quarter. I think I'm glad I did. If I put a half a teaspoon of salt in there, I think it would have been too salty. It's a cream sauce. I'm pretty happy with it. It's nothing special, but it is from 1938, man. Mmm. It's very good. White House evaporated milk helped support our troops during World War II with canned milk. I think they went out of business in the late 70s. You cannot find White House evaporated milk any longer. It's delicious. It's very basic cream sauce. It didn't say to use a double boiler. It's easy going. It thickens up. There's no direct heat. I really like making sauce in a double boiler.
One more bite, we still have two meals to go. Next! This recipe is from 1940, I believe. It's, it's really nice and thick. It thickened up a little bit. Glorious split pea soup. Mmm. Oh. That is delicious. I like the little bits of carrot in there. Little tiny bits of carrot. It's hot. It's not as smooth as it would be if you use an immersion blender. It has a little bit more texture. Throw in some ham cubes over the top. And I have a lot of ham. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Who doesn't love buttery croutons and split pea soup? From 1940. Mmm. Gladly eat this whole bowl. Next! good. That's not good. Maybe into the blender. Damn it. I just wanted to use my new toy. My sunbeam mixer. But it's not blending the cheese. So we're going to put it in the actual blender.
like we've got graham crackers. Oh, it's going to be a graham cracker cheesecake because I don't bake. How do I get this in the oven safely? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Burnt. Burnty. Burnt. Guess now we just let it cool. Ooh. This has been in the fridge for about four hours. I have no powdered sugar. I have no fruit to put on top. I like how it looks. We got to try it. Two things. One thing I can't remember. The first one is, the original recipe does not call for baking the pie crust first. Everyone online said you should probably bake the graham cracker crust first. So we baked it at 375 for about seven minutes. Maybe it wouldn't have burnt like that. Maybe it would have. 400 degrees for an hour is a long time. How am I cutting this? I want to go like this. <laughs> Divide it into little pieces or big pieces? I want a big piece. Go big or stay home because I'm already home. I'm not a baker. That's good. I don't care if it's toasty. Oh, it's gonna come out. Oh, oh, oh that's cool. Let's try some burnt crust. Burnt crust. Mmm. Oh, I'm confused. It's burnt and sweet. 1948 White House Cheesecake. All right, carnation. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's, don't use your finger. Cheesecake, I believe this is my first cottage cheesecake. Mmm. I can taste the nutmeg. I really like the nutmeg. Let's check the bottom. Well, the bottom is the bottom's toasty, but not not really burnt. I wish I had some whipped cream. It's good. It is a little cottage cheesy, I have to say. One more bite and we'll say au revoir. It does cut very nicely. It is... I like the color a lot. I love the color on top. All right. Our final bite. White House evaporated milk. Carnation. It confuses me a little bit. It's a little cottage cheesy, and it is a little like cheesecake. Eggs today. It's possible that my eggs were too large, which made it more soupy than it would have been. And maybe they use small eggs. No excuse for the burnt crumbs. We made it through another hurricane. I woke up this morning. We started cooking this today at 5 a.m., believe it or not, because I was afraid the power was going to go out. But it didn't. It's a miracle. You know what I'm going to say? What am I going to say? Thanks for watching.